Hello and welcome to Sheila Lives Out Loud. I'm Sheila Monyaga. Thank you so much for finding this channel. As always, please click subscribe and hit notifications so you never miss an episode when we upload. And today we are at Nobri, Kenya. It's an absolutely fantastic store. It's based at the village market, the old section of the village market, and it houses amazing household goods and treats and a very hush hush fashion line. It's probably got to be Nairobi's best kept secret. So please pop in and find an outfit to delight. Take a picture. Click. Okay. Now we're here to have a conversation on all things stylish and fabulous and what better guest than Wamboy Thimba. She is one of Africa's leading top stylists. She works with A-listers like myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, okay, fine. No, really, I've had the pleasure of working with her on a project a couple of years ago. And after that, you know, the sky's the limit. She's, where have you not been to in Africa and the world? Thank you for making the time to sit with Thank me. Thank you for having me. And talk about fashion because, oh my goodness, a passion for fashion is, is not a preserve for everyone. No, it's not. Not everybody knows how to put things together. Mm -hmm. And I always say you can go to school to learn, but there's certain things that even a school can't teach you. Yeah. If it's not in sight, it's not going to happen. That's true. So what made you know for sure that you were going to be a stylist? To be honest, I had no idea I was going to be a stylist. It's kind of one of the, I stumbled into it. Um, a friend of mine who was an editor of a magazine back in 2008 asked me to style for, for the magazine. And when she called me about it, I was like, what is a stylist? I had no idea what it was. And she's like, I think you'd be good at it. At that time, I had a shop in town, a stall. And so she's like, I think you'd be good at it. You know, just come with the clothes. We already have the theme for the shoot, um, the models, the photographer, the studio, everything is set. You just need to come with the clothes. And that's how it started. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about some of the biggest challenges and problems that you found across the board, mm -hmm. and especially for women, since you took up styling yeah. professionally. A little issue that I've encountered while yeah. styling is mm -hmm. most people don't know how to dress for their body shape. I think that's where it all starts. If you understand your body, then you'll be able to wear the right clothes, yeah, the clothes that flatter you, you know, the clothes that bring out um, your assets, you know. So say, for example, if you do not, if you have a thick area here, yeah. you, want, you don't want to highlight that. But some people end up wearing really fitted clothes that end up highlighting that. Mm -hmm. So if that is like the, the, the area that makes you insecure, you want to wear clothes that will flatter that. So for example, you'd wear a peplum, which kind of hides that, you know. Yeah. Um, so there's five different body shapes. I don't know whether they, you want me to go yeah, through please, them all? Yeah, go okay. through them, you know, because once you've identified your shape, yes. it's very easy to forget the other people in the world. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So you just focus on your shape. Exactly. So the first, one of the shapes is the um, hourglass shape. And I would say that is your body shape. So true. <laughs> I told you I was an A-lister. Anyway. So that's where, you know, the, the hourglass, you can see that like a figure eight, you know, good proportions, top and bottom is um, same, mm -hmm. and then a small waist, okay? Yeah. So for a body shape like that, you want to highlight the small waist. So you'd not wear anything oversized and frumpy. You know, you want to accentuate the figure. So you want to wear fitted clothes. Like, for example, what you're wearing is perfect, the wraparound dress, you know? I love wraparound dresses. They're so forgiving and mm -hmm. they're very flattering. Exactly. And then also how it has that V neckline. That's really pretty. Um, it's above the knees, very flattering. So it actually shows your body shape that this dress is perfect for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other body shape is a rectangle body shape. I'm more of a rectangle body shape. So that's kind of straight. Mm -hmm. So I have to create the illusion of a waist, you know. So then I'd, that's why I'm wearing this um, A-line skirt okay, because then it makes my waist look small. And then also if... Um, Mostly rectangular bodies tend to have like lean legs and arms. So then I tend to wear like sleeveless tops. Sometimes I wear short clothes because then you want to highlight the, yeah, the length. Exactly. Length beauty. Exactly. Right. So you highlight the features that you want people to notice, right? Not the straightness. I like, let me show off my arms. Yeah. And then we have the triangle body shape. So you can see that. So that's where the, the, um, your the weight area. is where, yeah, yeah. carry it at the exactly bottom. at the bottom. So, which is a very common um, African figure, it's right? African passport. Exactly. <laughs> yes, passport. Ooh, so smaller at the Africa. top. Exactly. So smaller at the top, and then yeah. with the hips or the bum. So, right. right. For for a figure like that, again, it has a small waist, very similar to the to, to the your to the hourglass. Yes. Yeah. So again, you want to highlight the waist and the hips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't want to wear something that's. Um, 
too frumpy because then you look too big, right. you know, because you're small at the top, so you want to highlight that. Same thing, you wear something that cinches you at the waist. Peplum is really good with that. A-line is very good with that. Straight leg trousers to uh, skinny jeans, you know. The, and then there's the other body shape, which is the opposite of that. It's the inverted triangle. Yeah. So that's the one where you're bigger at the top. So you need to balance the body. So with that, you would wear like flared jeans, you know, um, the tops that you wear, you'd wear something that has a v-neck also mm -hmm. to create some length. And then the last body shape is the apple body shape, which is now where you carry the weight around here. Around your yes, area. exactly. And you don't want to highlight that. But that one you have to create um, waist definition for that too, you mm -hmm. know. So you don't want to look too frumpy with that body shape. Mm -hmm. So with all this, I mean, the good thing the, on the internet, you can just Google and see what your body shape is and find out the do's and don'ts. I tend to do that when I get a new client. Sometimes I have to refresh my memory. Right, and right. so I have, when I have a um, client, we have a consultation and then I have a look at their body. And then from there, I will go and research. But then also I ask them, what is it that you're insecure about? Because a lot of women are insecure about their bodies. Mm -hmm. The one that's most common is the tummy, the tummy, tummy. and I mean, arms. Even, even women go to the gym trainers and say, give me exercises for my stomach. Exactly. Actually, my gym instructor told me that, that a lot of women ask for that. I thought it was a big booty, but it was like, nope, nope. women want nope. the stomach area to yeah. go, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, the other thing that, I've, that I thought was so strange is a lot of women are insecure about their arms. Yeah. Hey, you know, at some point, your body begins to deposit <laughs> fat in, in places that areas. you didn't even yeah. think about it. And then one day you try to wear a shirt and the shirt looks like, you know, your arms look like sausages. <laughs> and you're asking yourself, what's happening here? Who are you and who are these? And then you lift your arms and it's a mess. An you, absolute mess. But you know what the thing is? You're the one who notices these things. Most people don't know. Everyone is insecure. They all have their own securities. So they're not even checking you out and seeing that your arms are big or your stomach is big. You know, we also have our own <laughs> issues. So... I think as women, we need to be more body confident, you know, yeah. and if we are, then you will tend to look at the positive qualities of other women and not look at the negative qualities. Because if you're seeing something wrong in yourself, you'll see something wrong in somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. And I think a lot of times when we think about fashion, we think about style, we also think about perfection. Mm -hmm. And the thing about style is not necessarily perfection. No, it's It's, it's a combination of so many moving exactly. parts and some of them you've already mentioned confidence exactly about finding the formula that works for your exactly. body because not all of us are Halle Berry's exactly and it's not about the trends it's not about wearing what's current you know mm -hmm. it's about wearing what works for your body right. and um, you mentioned style earlier and I would say that what style is to me is not what you wear it's about how you carry yourself mm -hmm. you know you can see someone wearing uh, white t-shirt and jeans and they look very stylish and yeah. sneakers you know I'm sure you've seen that yeah. you know and it's but so it's just simple. how they're put together you know their hair looks neat um, minimal accessories yeah. the way they walk the way they sit so yeah. style is not about clothes I think it's just like the overall personality or demeanor how you carry yourself exactly yeah. because we could put you in the world's most elegant mm -hmm. gowns but if you're not feeling confident in exactly. who you are and what you are you're still going to look like there's a problem here. Yes. And that takes us back to the issue of cost mm -hmm. and money. Because some people think for you to have a really good look, for you to come out looking polished and together, it's going to cost you a lot of money. It's not always the case, is it? No, I would say I'm, I'm the complete opposite. I am a thrift shopper. <laughs> I'm always looking for deals. I always go to the sale racks. I have a problem buying stuff at full price. So I know it's not about the price mm -hmm. you know it's more about like i said it's about what works for your body it's yeah. not designer wear is is great you know but if you can't afford it don't stress mm -hmm. it's not about and anyway you can still go to toy market and you can buy and get it at a cheap price yeah, if you really want to wear labels really want to. if you really want to yeah but you don't have to that's not what defines um style or fashion speaking about fashion some more fast fashion there's pressure to look mm. like everybody else we've touched very little on trends and and you said style is not about no, not. you know wearing what's trendy it's about finding a look and a cut that works for you and there's some timeless classics there's oh, some definitely. pieces that are never going to go out like of a wraparound style. dress I, I, I love it will never ever go out of style and it hides so many i'm exactly. not even going to call them sins it no, just it plays up everything you want to play up and then mutes the things you just don't mm -hmm. want to draw a lot of attention and it evolves and it changes there's so many ways it can be styled you know you can get a 
a uh, wraparound dress that's long sleeved, mm -hmm. that's um, asymmetrical. You know, like it's it's one of those styles that is timeless. It will I don't think will ever die. Now we put together a couple of looks mm -hmm. with Nobri Kenya, and Nobri Kenya is stocked with amazing outfits. You oh, know, yeah. outfits that can take you from office to evening to grario to red carpet gala and we'd like you to talk a little bit about those outfits mm -hmm. but as our models get ready to do that mm -hmm. i would like us to talk a little bit about body confidence because in your experience as a stylist you've met a-listers you've met ordinary women and body confidence is not something that necessarily comes because you have a great dress. It no. could be something that you already have that makes an okay dress a great mm -hmm. dress. Tell us a little bit about inspiring and growing that body confidence. Can you, can you learn how to do it? I think you can learn how to get the body confidence because um, if you start highlighting the features of your body that you do like, then you start loving your body some more. You know, um, One of the exercises that uh, I tell people is look at yourself in the mirror and look at yourself without the clothes and say that you love your body. Tell yourself you love your body, even the parts that you don't like. Just tell them that you love them. And from there, you grow the confidence. And with that also, you combine that with dressing for your body shape. And then also, um, the other thing that adds onto that confidence is wearing a really nice outfit. You know, if you like what you're wearing, mm -hmm. you'll feel confident, you know. But it all starts in the mind. It has to start there. And then from there, it just like... You start oozing the it confidence. Flows out to yeah. Everybody else. And it doesn't happen overnight. I mean there are times I've worn an outfit, I'm just like, Oh my gosh, I don't I'm not I don't feel nice in this. Are and I'll sit at the corner because and that's hide. exactly what I was going to ask you. Have you ever worn anything and just felt I do. So when I'm trying to keep up with the trends, yeah. you know? Yeah. I remember this time I'd worn these thigh high boots with shorts and I went for this party and I was just like, Oh like <laughs> this is not me, you know? But the boots were in, the shorts right. was in, and right. I sat at a corner. I didn't even take any photos. I didn't want anybody to see me. So you didn't even have a good time. I so didn't. I was very conscious. you're doing with your fashion picks, whatever you're doing with your style choices, they've got to make you feel comfortable exactly. to go and attack the day exactly. and enjoy living. Yes. So it shouldn't be about trying to impress people. I mean, like I said, I was, I felt like I was not dressed for the occasion and I was trying too hard, mm -hmm. you know, so... Also, find out what the occasion is. Sometimes I feel like it's better to be overdressed than underdressed, yeah. you know? Um, so find out what the occasion is and dress appropriately for that occasion. Mm -hmm. If you're not too sure, I always advise people, like, if you have a car, have a pair of heels in the car, you know? Um, wearing heels can just make you feel more confident. If you are, say, in an office and you're wearing flat shoes and then you have to go for a cocktail later, if you put on the heels, you're going to feel really confident because, yeah. I mean, there's a way you walk when you have heels on that makes you feel a bit more confident, you know? Mm -hmm. um, have a lipstick that you know if you had a um so like a, a color like you have a yeah. more nude color like then you can nude. have a red for the evening again you don't have to change your face you just put a cut lip color that makes you right. bold and so stand out small changes. it's very small things like the earrings also look, yeah it, it's not necessarily going back home and freshening up no everything. no it's, it's just not small little could be adding a pieces. scarf it could be adding an accessory mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um just changing the way you've tied your hair for example just putting on a scarf yeah when your hair was plain those are simple things that you can do to just elevate your look if you need to change it from, say, day to night right, or vice versa. Right. And, yeah. you know, we're living in a world which demands that we're in the office for long mm -hmm. hours and then there are functions that you want to mm -hmm. attend to. You want to go meet your friends. You want to go exactly. for dinner with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. So you don't have a lot of time at your disposal to go and figure out, okay, now what look am I going to look? So we're going from morning to afternoon to exactly. evening to night. Yes. So what's the general rule to keep in mind for occasions like that? Okay, so what I would do, like I said, is to have a pair of heels. If you don't have heels mm -hmm. during the day, if your work is maybe more chilled out, you can yeah. wear flats, then have a pair of heels that you can wear later on in the evening. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is lipstick. Change the color of your lipstick. Earrings, you can get a bold pair of earrings. Some offices might not like you to wear, you know, this yeah. kind of earring statement earrings. But this is, a pair, you could carry a pair like this that you can add on. Mm -hmm. um, a scarf is really good to add on to, to your look. If you had um, an official look and you had to wear a suit, for example, yeah. you take off the jacket and then just put on a scarf and it will look cute. Okay. Yeah. So there's different ways, you know, maybe open up the buttons a bit, roll up the sleeves a bit more casual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Before we unwind up this conversation, there's one thing that winds me up. See what <laughs> I did me. right there? <laughs> Rhymes, I, girl. I, I got this. My rap album is on the way. <laughs> Wait for it. Subscribe now. But it concerns 
choices in outfits based on age because mm. i've heard some people really slam women who've got great looking bodies who are extremely confident and really don't care what people think wearing the choices that make them feel good about themselves and quite frankly they look great but there are people who say oh a woman this age oh 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 this age nah, age man. age age when it comes to dressing and age can we talk about that for one second mm. what's your take on that I don't agree with that because I'm also of a certain age and I shouldn't be dressing a certain <laughs> way for my age. And so I'm totally against that. Again, wear what you want to wear and that looks great on your body, you right. know. Right. I mean, there's some things, of course, uh, say if you're 50, you can't be wearing... You're not going to be wearing ripped booty exactly, shorts. That's exactly what I had in mind. That's exactly what I was saying in my mind. Yeah. Like ripped booty shorts. Of course not. Right. But if you want to wear shorts, yes, you can. There's yes, some really can. classy, well-cut shorts that you can wear, you know, at 50. Mm -hmm. So, no, I totally disagree. It really just with, boils like, down to you, your confidence, mm -hmm. and the occasion. Where are you exactly going? Exactly, and the occasion. You're right. Where you're not you going to wear... Go? I mean, yeah. even if you're 20, you're not going to wear shorts to an even uh, to a black tie event, yeah, you know? Yeah, ripped booty shorts. Yeah, exactly. So it's about the event. Employee of the year award. You know? Ceremony. <laughs> Your boss oh, is and that's another thing that I've say. noticed in Kenya. Yeah. People don't dress for the red carpet. Oh, yes. Goody, goody. Let's talk about that because we've yes. lined up some gowns, honey. I mean, when, when the invitation says black tie, it yeah. means a formal gown, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. It means a tuxedo or black suit for a man. I've been to a white tie event and that was not even like next level from black tie is white tie wow. where the men have to wear white bow ties and they have to wear the, the coat with the tail. Right. And the girls had to, you can't see the ankles. That's the, so this the dress has to be long. Super, uber, uber formal. Yes. Yeah. So black tie is now just one level below, below that. Yeah. Um, I've, so yeah, like I was saying, I've seen awards where people just wear jeans, jeans. Yeah. Or oh gosh, or like a, Sneakers. Same thing with the men wearing sneakers and a suit. And I mean, I know there's some there's some black tie events that are a bit um, semi formal, right, you know, right. like music awards. Yeah. There you can be creative. You can be creative. Yes. But for example, a corporate black tie. No, no. you cannot be creative. No. Oh, yes, Even exactly. Your boss isn't being creative, and that should tell you something. Exactly. Exactly. So pay attention to the event and dress for the occasion. If someone sends you an invite and says it's an all white affair, Respect that exactly. invitation. Don't show up there in black. And say, I want to be different and stand out. So I'm not going to wear what they say. <laughs> I've seen that happening, you know. I know. It's, it's rude. It's, I've it's been to weddings and baby showers. And, you know, with those kind of events where they actually have a dress code, a color scheme. Yeah. And people are like, no, I don't have that. So I'm not going to wear that. Yeah. You know. So but pay attention to those exactly. and just respect the person who's, who's inviting you. Mm -hmm. And honor them with exactly. your presence. And, and follow those instructions. Mm -hmm. Speaking of instructions, join us for part two of Dress to Impress with Bomboy Thimba as we highlight great selections of outfits for different body shapes and all these outfits are available from Nobri, Kenya. Pop in for great looks and live out loud in all that you do.